Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is a love reading. It's supposed to be, <laughs> but, you know, whatever. We're going to see what comes up. This is for January. I'm going to try to focus on love. Uh, timing may be fluid, and this reading may not be for you. So let's just see. We're going to get two of these for an overall energy. What do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Now, I happen to be Leo rising in Western astrology or Vedic. Okay. So, if you're Vedic, you know, you might want to look that up. Because it seems to me like a couple of the Leo readings have really resonated. And I had a reading from uh, Trifon. Or I think that's how you pronounce it. You can find his information, information on Astrolatas. And he made it very clear that I am Leo rising. He showed it to me. Um, and that is something that is very prominent in my chart. Um, but in, um, well, I don't know what you call this astrology, traditional astrology, I am uh, Virgo rising. But anyhow, what do we have for Leo? These cards are hard to shuffle. Four of Coins. Uh, Taurus had this too, I believe. Four of Coins is stability, holding on to your stability. Uh, you may be wanting to, you may be obsessed with uh, holding on to something, okay? Because this is like an obsession and this is hiding. So you may be wanting to hide something, something may be hidden. You may not be wanting to engage, you just maybe want to stay in hiding right now. Um, not giving in, not giving, not sharing. This can be a very greedy, selfish energy. I don't want to share. I don't have nothing to give. You know, uh, resisting change in some way. You may be resisting change. Emperor, you could be dealing with a father. You could be dealing, this could be a husband, could be a father. This is somebody who may be wanting to strike up some kind of deal. Um, you got to be careful. You do got to be careful because this person, uh, is more focused on structure and, f and money and materialistic things in their job and their business, um, their status. So you, you, you may have somebody that is, um, you're striking up a deal with. Okay. Cause this person feels like they're strike putting their hand out to strike up some sort of deal with you. Now this, you know, this reminds me of President Obama and his family. So I don't know where, how that comes into play, but this may have something to do with um, somebody that is in authority, that it, this could be a judge as well. This is somebody that is in authority that may be making some sort of decision, making, um, this guy is very decisive. He takes action. He's the boss. He's the leader. He's in control. He is in control. Um, this person makes the decision. Um, this person is the boss. Interesting. Hmm. Ooh, the devil. The devil is a Capricorn. Somebody, you got to be careful about, you may be making a deal with the devil. <laughs> That's interesting because I was just thinking that earlier that somebody is making a deal with the devil. You got to be careful. You really got to be careful, Leo, with who you are signing contracts with, with who you are dealing with. I would be careful as if I was you. There could be, uh, we also have the high priestess here. The high priestess is a healer. This person is very intuitive. They are very spiritual. They have a connection to, to the divine. Um, the high priestess keeps secrets. Okay, somebody may have some sort of secret that they are keeping to themselves. You know, and they haven't revealed it yet. So you might want to be very careful about who you are dealing with. You know, you do have to be careful. Because this is attempted. Now, somebody may have you uh, bound. Okay, you see the puppet strings? You may be being played. You, you could be being played. Uh, 
You definitely need to be careful. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, now this is puppet strings. This is tempted. And this is a very materialistic energy as well. And this is not good. Okay, the devil doesn't bring anything good. They may bring some sort of instant gratification, but it doesn't last. This is hell. So just be careful who you're dealing with, who you are signing contracts with. This person has some tricks up their sleeve. This person is very wise. They've gotten to this position through hard work and experience. Now this could be a male or a female. We have a very experienced individual here who, you know, this person is making a decision based on their experience, based on what they know, based on perhaps integrity, but not always. Hmm. Interesting. Now, this is a card of a sh the, the devil is ruled by the shadow. So you may be dealing with somebody. All is not as it seems. Your intuition may be telling you that all is not as it seems. So you may be tempted by, you may be repeating the same patterns over and over and over again. We have a child here that it has something to do with stability. Maybe it's the stability of a child. There is some sort of a obsession, and this is obsession. Interesting. Very interesting. So, this is an inner knowing. I feel as though... You're going to be wooed by somebody. We have the Knight of Cups, but then we have the King of Cups reversed. This person is going to sell you the Golden Gate Bridge, okay, that they don't own. This person is very a very smooth talker. They may tell you that they're in love with you, and maybe they, are, they may be obsessed. You may be obsessed, or they may obsess. There's some sort of obsession here. But this person doesn't have good intentions. The King of Cups reverse. And this is any sign. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it could be Capricorn. It could be an Aries. Um, whoever this person is, this person uh, doesn't have good intentions. They're emotionally withdrawn. They probably have some addictions. They don't communicate well. They may uh, be telling you everything that you want to hear, though. They're very, very smooth. So, Leo, I feel like you are going to be engaged with a very smooth talker, and you definitely need to be careful about who you get engaged with. There's no doubt about it. I think that your intuition is probably going to tell you that this person isn't realistic, that this person isn't emotionally available, but you are going to be very, very tempted because this is temptation. This is greed, and this is greed. So, these are, these are very similar energies, you know... We have a very greedy individual here that is obsessed with control because this is control. Could be a father figure. I don't know who it is. Or a husband. We have somebody here that is very obsessed with control. They definitely have addictions. We have both have addictions here. Severe addictions. So we somebody has some sort of addictions. Could be you. Somebody is has some addictions. Could be drinking could be drugs whatever it is this person is is very smooth they're almost and they may make you feel really really good because they are so smooth hmm. oh. that one drops to the ground page of cups and it is upright how i picked it up anyway it was upright so the Page of Cups is a, an admirer. This person, whoever this person is, is, you know, they, they may be a little bit younger than you. They may really have some sort of feelings for you. Um, they may, because this is feelings. You see that? The Page of Cups, you see the hearts right here. This, But you got to remember not to be naive. You may be love struck or they may be love struck on you. There is a feeling of being love struck.
trust your gut at this time. I think that your gut, these are both in, I think it's your gut is going to tell you that this person is not all that they seem to be. But you may, you may want to ignore that fact. It's almost like you're signing a contract with the devil. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. This person is very, very controlling. They like to be in control. They do not have good intentions. And probably your gut tells you that, but you don't, but you're very, very tempted because they make you feel so good in some way. The attention that they give you. You know, something to do with a water sign as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may have to make a choice. Maybe you've got to make a choice between two people. Um, Eight of Swords. Now, this is uh, confinement, being trapped in a situation. mentally trapped unsure it's like you're, you you may be this is handcuffs this is tied to something it's like and you are with the, with the puppet strings here i think that you are allowing somebody to control your own happiness so anyway leo i think that you will be uh having to make some sort of choice. I think that deep down you know what you need to do with the High Priestess card. I think you know. You know that you, I think that you have an opportunity for real love here. But you are dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions and they are keeping you trapped. They are keeping you stuck. And you have an opportunity to open up and go someplace else to cut these puppet strings you have an opportunity to do so but you have somebody here that really really wants to have a relationship with you i think you have two people that want to have a relationship with you i do one of them does not have good intentions one of them is not emotionally available one of them has some serious addictions the other one wants to take care of you. The other one, you know, has it really, really admires you and thinks that you are, uh, they think that you are very beautiful. They both do. Okay, both of these people are very attracted to you. I, but you are definitely trapped in your own head over which way to go. And you have to, what I'm telling you, you need to really follow your gut here. <laughs> Interesting. Really needing to reevaluate your choices, reevaluate uh, what you deserve. Death and rebirth. This is, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I think that it's time to release. This is release. Release the past. It's time for a change. It's time for you to start over. It's time for your new beginning. If this is a time of transformation, accept the new. Let go of the past. Everything ends. Nothing is really permanent. So I feel like you have a chance for something new. If you can break out of this mental conflict over the past. This is a new beginning. Endings lead to new beginnings. If you can stop keeping yourself confined to a situation and... and pretending that it's good it's, this is pretending it's like break free from it please so anyway leo i think that you have an opportunity you have a new beginning here i think your gut knows that whoever this new person is has feelings for you you got somebody new here that really wants to start a relationship with you and they have feelings for you real feelings but you got this person that you are letting control your your new beginning you're, you need to you need to cut these strings. You need to cut these cords. You need to sever these ties. What the hell are you waiting for? So anyway, Leo, I feel as though you have a new beginning waiting for you. This is a time of change. But you gotta break free from this mental conflict. You need to cut these these these. Uh, shackles okay 
You do. You need to cut these cords. You're going to, you have somebody that is going, that wants to have a real relationship with you. This person really thinks that you are perfect for them. They have, they are, they already have a lot of feelings for you. Whoever this person is, I feel like the new person um, is genuine. They're genuine. They can help you to get unstuck if you would just open up. One more card for Leo. You got somebody here that wants to have a relationship with you, but you are dealing with the devil and you need to cut those cords. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That just flipped right over. And now we got two more cards that... Uh-oh. You're not going to like it. I'm going to have to show you what they are on the floor. Because you're going to be like, oh my God. You're going to... I'm way back here. You guys are going to think I did that on purpose. I got the tower. And the wheel of fortune reversed. The tower is something that needs to crumble. Okay, this needs to crumble. It needs to end. Okay, this is the universe saying that you are in a destructive situation. You're in a situation that isn't going to last. It is false. It's a false sense of security. You must accept change. And this is clinging to control, the wheel of fortune reversed. Somebody that doesn't want to let go of control. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's also a horrendous loss because somebody is fighting destiny right next to the tower. Do you want to lose out on somebody that could potentially love you and take care of you? Or to hold on to something based, on, based out of control, based out of greed, based out of obsession, based on attention? The tower is a necessary evil. I mean, you have a major change that is needed, and you have to take those steps. When you get the Wheel of Fortune reversed, there could be a shocking, unpredictable, horrendous loss. Past mistakes coming back to haunt you because you are resisting change. And that death card tells me that it is time for a change. You have a new love here. Stop wasting your time. There's going to be a shock, okay? Somebody is about to be shocked by a situation. They're refusing to let go. But they're probably going to be forced to let go. There could be somebody in an authoritative position that changes this whole dynamic. And gives you the opportunity to develop a relationship with somebody new. You are going to be developing a relationship with somebody new. As soon as these cords are severed. And they are going to be severed. Good luck.